I've learned a lot. I hope you've learned a lot there. Keycaster time? Uh, dude, it's been it's been like two and a half hours. Let's play some DDO. You know what I'm saying? Let's play some let's play some DDO. We take 15 minute max. Alright. 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 You want you wanna see it? Did you already send it to me? Run. Keycaster. Oh god. Fine. We will look at this. But it better be cool. If it's not the coolest build I've seen today, I'm gonna be upsetty spaghetti. I will look at it right now. Key caster. Also, if your fire and uh, force crit are not 100%. Because you know those things scale off a crit. Alright. This build is very bad. But it was like, I wish it was good. So, okay. So, it's key caster, did you say? ASMR monk. Uh, notes. Key caster. Ex I exclusively cast key abilities. Needs falconry trance to get better DCs and something like 170. Uh, melee power go burr. Feats feel bad, but you need to take melee power. Uh, filigrees are just to pump melee power. Cloak of Spring is for reflex saves and missile deflect for melee power. A chemical orb is a comma if played on live. Just for the alchemical two is, and I don't know what to take for twists. What's well, melee power? Um, and yeah, you can see the builder. You just gotta see through time. See through time. Okay. So, uh, Wisdom 20. Keycaster, Esmar. Leveling up. Weapon focus bludgeoning. Weapon focus piercing. Weapon focus slashing. Um, yeah, and then you don't you don't grab any of the uh, the feats. I guess because you have toughness, so your character is going to be pretty tough. But the main issue you're going to be running into is not having any more melee power. Um, now, I do ask why pure monk over something else. What do you get from this capstone here? Capstone gives you 15 melee power, so that's pretty good. Anything else is not going to work really well. So yeah, I would reckon, yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. That seems about right. Um, though I do think that definitely there is the option to take the single weapon fighting feet line in here. By taking single weapon fighting feet line, um, one, uh, you can't take single weapon fighting here, but taking that, you drop a bunch of toughness, but you would get additional melee power and it's triple melee power scaling so you'd be able to pick up 10 extra melee power in theory is 10 melee power worth it i'm not 100 percent sure but i personally think it probably is plus you got the sign of the arborea so what's your melee power right now physical offensive you have 233 melee power kicking it so that would bring you to 243 not the biggest change in damage, but it would help out. Okay, so you got toughnesses, toughness. Combat expertise. Why do you take combat expertise? Is, and I guess it doesn't increase the spell casting of your thing, so it's better than nothing. Because you might as well have a stance, right? The defensive stance. Tactician, epic damage reduction, guardian angel, toughness, and a sign of Arborea. Cool, deflect arrows. I do like deflect arrows. Also, fist dark monk, which is great, because it means you can take the light monk. Now, the important thing about this build is, number one... Uh, you can't deal any damage until level 3, so you have to use, like, gems, and then you got to use the Key Bolt. And then you can only Key Bolt until you get to Incinerating Wave. Now, Key Bolt has a um, cooldown, which is hilarious. And then Incinerating Wave has a longer cooldown, which is also hilarious. And then Cauldron of Flame, if you leave the Cauldron, it goes away, because for some reason, whoever came up with Cauldron of Flame didn't think it would be a better idea to have it centered on you instead of being a physical location. Which is also hilarious. Now, one of the things I do find interesting about this build is you go with the Asmar for the 10 melee power, which is good. That is good. But you could have gone Tiefling for the fire penetration. However, I do recognize that by going Tiefling, you would be casting an ability that is not a key ability, and therefore it would not work. And this is a problem. Additionally, you have another issue which is your key generation. You need to make sure you have enough. Then you have plus one passive, plus one passive here. So key in heroics is gonna be a tragedy because you only get the plus one passive generation and that's it. And then you need to max out as much concentration as possible. But yeah. Yeah, well, it's just gonna auto regen slowly. Now granted, you can, in Grandmaster, you can pump up your key but in Heroics, this is going to be a nightmare. Um, and then, of course, you don't need any of this other stuff. Um, also, I'm curious as to why you didn't wave the po Patient Tortoise for some extra concentration uh, versus 
grabbing like negotiator because I feel like you should possibly do this. Also, important note, you have so much concentration, you could also key shout uh, the monsters. Now, you may say that key shout doesn't matter. You go, well, key shout doesn't work. It doesn't happen. You can't do it. But I say, guess who fixed key shout from Linabel? So just, just saying, just saying. It's an option. Yeah, so Key Shout does function and could work with this build. Unfortunately, the extra concentration up here is a little tight. Uh, you've got Falconry, which you've got enough points in for Deadly Instinct. You can't... I guess you must use the Bird Attacks to get your Deadly Instinct back, which is kind of like cheating with this build. You can't use the Favorite Enemies. I'm surprised you didn't take True Seeing, just for the convenience of having True Seeing. And then Ninja Spy, you go for Flashbang. Because this does cost key, which is pretty good. Now, you could also go up for Poison Dart Spray as well, which would add 1 to 8 stacks of Ninja Poison, which is very, very low in damage. Um, so I'm not sure. I also wonder if it would be an okay idea to have... Hold on, I have a question. Does the vulnerability to poison, which stacks up to 20 times, only affect ninja poison, or would this affect alchemist poison as well? Like, could you combine a ninja spy with the poison stacking and a poison alchemist to amp up damage? Because Sting of the Ninja works on critical hit. I've never tested it. I have no idea. But yeah. You gotta put the points into Sting of the Ninja, and then you can have somebody stacking it up. Because so, that would be 100% extra poison damage from an alchemist. Now, whether you're playing poison alchemist in the first place, I don't know. But it's an interesting idea, anyway. Thought experiment. Um, but yeah, the Henshin Mystic. And then you just have to take something in the tree. So you take all this garbage. Um, does that make sense? But yeah, I feel like pa Way of the Patient Tortoise is definitely better than, like... Yeah, this is fine. But I would definitely go with, like... Like I said, way of the patient tortoise over this other stuff. So you have some more concentration and some more hit points. Very minor optimization. Um, and then flashbang is just interesting. Is it like 118 without an item? Yeah, but you need more concentration. More. Oh, yes, right. And your passive key regeneration while stealth. You want to get stealthy as soon as possible. You need to essentially go, you grab key bolt, contemplation, then stealthy, and then you need to be stealth all the time. Uh, to make sure your key is as high as possible. No lighting the candle? No, no, you can't attack monsters with this build. This is a key caster. So you can only do... You can't... You can only use key bolt, incinerating wave, culture of flame, serenity... Or not serenity, culture of flame, and then the other crap from FX. Yeah, so if you could fit in key shout into here, which is basically you'd have to drop flashbang for key shout, you could be like a weird kitey tank. It was half pack, then no key. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, you have a good amount of hit points. Okay. And look at that 213 PRR. Woo! All right. Now, Divine Crusader, that seems wrong. Uh, what about uh, Grandmaster of. Nope, Grandmaster of Flowers. There we go. So I'm assuming you're in Grandmaster of Flowers. Wait, what Epic Destiny are you in? Not Fate Singer. Yeah, it's Grandmaster of Flowers. So you Grandmaster of Flowers. I'm also disappointed you're twisting Grim Fate and Bound Fate, which is just perplexing when uh, realistically... So let's get rid of this. Um, you should be twisting Grim Fate. So for sure... Or yeah, Bound Fate for sure. But... Um, hold on. But you have an extra Tier 3 twist, dude. You know what you should be twisting? This is easy. Um, Empyrean Magic. Because those things count as fire spells. They do. <laughs> so you get the extra crit. Um, because you, it scales off of fire critical and uh, force critical chance. And they all, but all of them count as fire. Yeah, you, you want as much spell crit as possible. Because that's how you scale the damage. Because the, uh, the crit works as well. You also want crit multi when possible. So it may be, depending on your level of crit, 
I don't know what's better, 20 melee power or counting as 60 melee power, whoops, off of this, Sign of Arborea, or just raw getting 25% fire crit, which is also not too bad. The hardest part is getting additional crit. It's one of the reasons why Tiefling is also kind of interesting because of all the fire crit that you can pick up, plus the just general crit on that build. And then where's your fire crit? Do you not have crit? Oh no, no, you are only crit. Oh, dude, no crit? Well, we gotta fix this. Oh my god. Magic breakdown? What's your crit? <gasps> no crit? Ridiculous. Okay. Let's make some adjustments here. Let's get some crit. Let's see what we can do. How do we get some more crit? So first, um, you need... Uh, one of these toughni is gonna be turned into magical training because that's 5% uh, crit. This is obviously important. So M. This is 5% crit right there. So that's very, very good. So you want to have that. So that's 5% crit just to get started. Now you could pick up extra 1% crit for each mental toughness feat as well, which would give you more crit. Which honestly... Can you weapon focus this? Oh, Monk doesn't get weapon focus? Damn. Yeah, you need crit. 100%. Okay. I'm I you said we're taking a couple minutes on this? No, no, no. You can definitely do this. So, you want combat expertise down here. Skill focus concentration, totally useless. So, hold on. This is where we're going to pick up magical training down here. You want Damn it. Magical training. And then you want to keep this, keep this, keep this. Um Actually, you probably want to bump these up. Discipline is the best you can come up with for the extra concentration. No. I mean, discipline's probably fine, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you definitely want mental toughness. For the extra crit. Um, also, hilariously, you'll be a monk with a good amount of spell points. Oh, can you not take mental toughness? <gasps> really? Really? Hold on. Oh, you have to be able to cast spells. Yeah, you have to be able to cast spells to take mental toughness. Interesting. Interesting. So how else are we picking up crit in here? So you're missing out on mental improved and... What do you think is better? 10 melee... Or 10 melee power from Azamar? Or 8% fire crit from Tiefling? Because 8% fire crit's pretty good. And the force crit from Fade Arc Illusionist. Very true. Because that's 6% uh, force crit. 10 melee power? If you say so. I'm not so sure. Depends on how much crit and crit multi you can pick up. Because you won't be in Draconic. Because that is just stupid. Um, so I guess you just hit up toughness again. Damn. Oh well. Still 5% crits, 5% crit. You move combat expertise. You didn't need that other ability. And then you grab Wellspring of Power, of course, for the extra crit multi. Um, so you've got the crit multi now that you did not have. That's important. Um, and there's no crit in here. Also, I'm surprised that you didn't take Mass Frog on a character whose wisdom is 115. But of course... It's not the spell, so you can't actually use it. So that makes sense. Uh, no more crit, no more crit. Yes, yeah, so you're just you're just there. Okay, that's fine. This seems fine. Okay, okay, good. And then back in here. So you took falconry, and you get the conditioning and the deadly instinct. My question is, do you need deadly instinct, or do you need crit? Because the problem is, fade arc illusionist here, which you can now take, is crit and crit. And you can still pick up all of that wisdom that you had that you'd be missing. In fact, you'd actually get more wisdom. 26 DC is 26 DC. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to get as much crit as possible. So you're currently running part of the family set. But you don't need part of the family set. 
because you can't use any of these stats because you can't attack anybody. So this set is totally valueless. So what I'm feeling, five melee power over Dusk Raider, that's true, five melee power, but like, what if instead of five melee power, uh, you decided to pick up, well, actually a couple things. So you have the alchemical orb, which gives you two wisdom, you said, and then the sunken virtue, which does nothing. What if instead of this, We go to quarter staves, okay? And you get the Staff of Summer Solstice, which gives you the 20% fire critical damage and the fire crit chance, 32%. That one's not bad. And two-handed fighting feats for melee power? Well, you need the strength. You need the strength. So you lose the, the little bit of wisdom, but now you've got the crit. That's true, Tome. So what do you what do you drop? You drop some intelligence for some stats, and you grab some grab some stats here, because you need to start with a little bit more strength. So int to strength. Ah, oh, combat expertise needs to move up now, but that's okay. Uh, is that okay? So then here would be monk bonus feat, which doesn't work at all. So yeah, so you would just take you would just take your discipline down here, which is stupid. And then you take uh two handed fighting here. And then you keep this, keep this, drop toughness for greater two handed improved. Drop toughness for greater. And then you can't even take epic toughness. Yeah, you can. You just have to take regular toughness down here. Um, whoops. Regular toughness. Hold on, we can keep all this. You swap this one into the epic toughness, right? Epic toughness. Epic toughness, there it is. And you can swap out your skill focus here for perfect two-handed fighting. Okay, okay. So now, you've got ten more melee power than you had before. That's good. You have the spell critical and some of the damage. You want to get the force critical as well. Right now you're rocking Levix Bracers. I just don't love Levix Bracers. Cornerstone Champion is just Quality Wisdom 5, which is hard to come by in other places, but you got an odd wisdom, so we can Slave Lords it out. You want Force Crit as well. And you want Exceptional Crit. The reason why I'm wondering if you can't augment the crit is because you have Dead Item Slot, Dead Item Slot. Not uh, augment it. For 25 melee power. And 5 melee power is very good. But. Consider the following. Throw in Robe of Autumn Winds. Wait, is that really only 10%? Why isn't it 15%? No way, Robe of Autumn Winds is 10%. Hold on. DDO Robe of Autumn Winds. It's 10%? Why is it 10 why is it? Why? Why? I am so sad right now. Anyway, grab yourself a Fae Weave robe. Um, so the exceptional spell lore. So for some exceptional crits, so that's good. So now you're rocking uh, light crit uh, 52. Um, then Cloak of Spring, not helpful. You know what is helpful? Uh, following that up with the Gossamer Weave, which is not helpful. And you know what else is not helpful? The Hammer Fist. Following that up with the Delicate Thimble Tips for the fifteen for the Artifact Force Crit. Because I don't think there's Artifact Spell Crit, is there? Wait, four-piece material? What's the four-piece material? Hold on. Um, legendary... Green steel. Okay, so with the set, material is physical and spell crit damage and 2% per augment. Okay, so how do you get four pieces in here? Because you still need to fit all the stats in. 
So sunken slippers is quality wisdom and quality wisdom. You don't need quality wisdom and you don't need quality wisdom. Yeah, and autumn, the chess piece doesn't work. So family recruit sigil dies. There's no necklace, so you can use necklace for something else. Um, You want the stunning and the, the sheltering is fine. That's fine. That's a good item. So what am I using here? Shattered Onyx is Insightful Wisdom. Collective Sight has Insightful Con on it. Energy Critical Pass Life. Yes, you also want Energy Critical Pass Life. Yes. You also want to get Force Crit in here, so you do need a Force Critical item. Um, although how exactly you get that is very complicated. Actually, it's not. It's just there's only one item. It's just the ring from Winter's Set. Kinetic. Because you have the Control Matrix, which gives you Kinetic Lore 34. There's a ring of Winter's Chill, which is Kinetic Lore 31. And that's it. So yes. So you have the Winter Ring. So assuming you want to keep the Ring of Prowess for 8 melee power, although I don't think 8 melee power is better than 30 or 29% force crit. So for now, we're going to... Actually, we'll move this over here. We'll get rid of the Shattered Onyx, because that's just 10 Insightful Wisdom. And we can get Insightful Wisdom somewhere else. So we're going to swap that in, drop in the Ring of Winter's Chill. So now you're happy with this. Um, and you want the material set, right? So what gives you wisdom right now? What's giving you wisdom? Is it nothing? Did I kill wisdom by accident? Um, oh, it's the collective site, right? Um, and nothing's giving... And you have constitution from the Levix Bracers? Okay, okay. So what if we make a couple adjustments here? This is not going to be the most graceful thing, but you want four-piece material, right? So that would be bracers. Oh, man. Wait, isn't two items 17% crit multi? Oh, no. Do you need... The, oh, you need the four-piece set. Okay. So what do you get? What is material? Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Also, does it stack with the Summer Solstice, which is enhancement? Oh, is it straight up spell crit multi? The Wisdom Artifact hat? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. So if all of that stacks together, so what are we what are we dropping? So one, two, three, and four. So you drop the helmet. Then you're losing melee power. Because Crown of Summer is 15 melee power or 10 melee power. Or do you drop the Feywild Dreamer set, which is the 10 artifact crit. So you can have two pieces here. And then you get to keep the Crown of Butterflies. You probably just drop the 10 Force Crit, right? Yeah, I feel like that's the correct choice. So you would drop this and this. And you would go uh, Legendary Green Steel. So Green Steel Cloak. And Material is Spell Crit, you said? Okay, so let's do Fire Spell Critical. Fire spell critical and fire spell critical. Right? That makes sense. It causes charges. Wait, it's not? Then what is it? Oh god. You're gonna make me look it up. The tier one recipes. Oh. oh man, why can't you sort this? It's ethereal. Oh, it is ethereal. So what you would do is you would need this to count for the set. You would just call this one and drop this to like the um, prior damage on being hit. Yeah. For the set. Wait, drop T1. Oh, wait. Oh, I, this is enhancement? Oh, it is enhancement. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought that, I thought that was not enhancement. Okay, that makes sense. So you drop that, so it's just fire, which is sweet. 
And do you just make a bunch of shitty guard items? Um, no, you can make hit points if you wanted. You can make profane hit points. Um, yeah, you can get all the hit points. Profane, insightful, and whatever. Oh, elemental resists. For opposition set? Sure. Or unconsciousness range. Sure. Yeah, you could probably also do that. So, you grab... Legend. Oh my god. Uh, green. There we go. Green steel gloves. And you could grab unconsciousness range. And before you say, but Strim, but Strim Tom, wasn't this not supposed to last 100 years? Guess what? You know what? Sometimes you gotta make stupid decisions. There's your material too. And now what else do we kill in here? What else dies? Um... There's, is there's no necklace, is there? Oh, there is! Oh, that's easy. Easy. Oh my god, easy game. Easy game. Um, So wait, you're saying you don't want a bunch of guard effects? I don't know, dude. Guard effects are really funny. Yeah. But yeah, I, I feel like guard effects are really dumb. Like, just consider the consider the following, right? You're like, oh man, why would I want guard effects? Because now you also have key shout. Now you also have key shout. But yeah, anyway, let's go uh, grab all the resistances for the extra hit points. Key shout. Um, what do we want? Uh, probably acid. Acid's got to be good. Acid, acid, and acid. Where are you, resistance? There we go. Beautiful. And then you're going to call the Cornerstone Champion or the Sunken Slippers. Now, the Sunken Slippers gives you displacement, and this gives you nothing. So screw you, Cornerstone Champion. Green. Steel Belt. Um, so this is... Uh, you did Acid already, so let's just do... You don't resist fire automatically. Well, Electric. Electric's pretty fun. That's a good stat to resist. There we go. There we go. You grab electric uh, resistance. Perfect. All right. So now you have the opposition set. Oh, apparently enough dominion to get spell points, which is really funny. And a material set plus two per augment. Now, you need to drop Dom Og. Oh, really? What was Dominion? Is it the guard item? Don't tell me it's the guard item. I don't want to lose it. No, it's the guard effect. <sighs> so now it's material opposition, right? Wait, can you show stances screen? Oh, stances? Yeah, stances. Do you have material on here? Why not constitution skills? Um, because that would be escalation. Okay, how come you have... You have material, but how come you don't have opposition? Is it because there's too many Dominion pieces? How do I cut Dominion? What is what is still Dominion? Oh, is it just the fire spell crit damage? There are two Dom and two Ethereal? No, there's not two Ethereal. So we shove in two Ethereal in here? Or two Escalation? Two Dom and two Escalation? Um, no, there's zero Escalation. Okay, so you just need to swap two opposition to escalation, is what you're saying. Okay, so take, um, let's just say the belt, which is the last one, and swap this from here to constitution skills, of course. 
and um, constitution skills. And hit points. And now you have opposition and material. And 33 concentration. Yes. So now you have 41, 62 hit points. Um, I think I broke your wisdom. So now you got to go collect... No, wisdom is still here. Oh, you don't have insightful wisdom. Because I got rid of that. So you have to go... Oh yeah, and you don't have an artifact. Aren't a big one too. Yeah, no artifact. Mm -mm -mm. How do we get wisdom? Is there a wisdom artifact around here? Is there a wisdom artifact around here, maybe? I mean, you dropped the Ring of Prowess? Use the new helmet? Well, first of all, new helmet's not on here. So, RIP. And second, you already have wisdom. You need insightful wisdom. That's the problem. Because you're missing insightful wisdom on this build now. I don't know. Alternatively, what you could do, Visions of Beyond. Oh, wait. Oh, did I drop an art, the Visions of Beyond set? I did not, but I am going to fix it, though. So we're going to change the Corroded Iron Figurine for the Blood of Blossoms to keep all the wisdom while also keeping the... What is it of Beyond? Visions of Beyond? Uh-huh. And then we drop... We change the Collective Sight... We kick out the Levix Bracers. Get the heck out of here, Bracers. Which drops a bunch of hit points. To replace this with an artifact, which is just the Titan Control Matrix for the Kinetic Lore. Okay. Which means you can replace the Winter's Chill Ring, because you don't need this, with the uh, Celestial Ruby Ring that lets you craft decks for saves. Also, for some stupid reason, this item... Uh, also has ghostly on it, so you're now you're tankier, and you keep the stunning. You don't need the insightful stunning. You get the Titan Control Matrix for the Kinetic Lord that you did not have before, and you collective sight out the Constitution. Boom, boom. So you did lose some health because you lost your vitality and your false life. You have no false life in this build. So of course, obviously, you would fix this. By just coming here and false life, what is it, 48? Things like 48. And you slap in a vitality, diamond of vitality. Boom. There we go. Uh, so now, you are kicking it with 54 force and 61 fire, which is not as much as I would like, but you're working in a character class that has no crit. Um, if you're to swap from... As a Marta Tiefling, you would drop 2 Wisdom, but you would also gain 8% Fire and 4% Force Crit, which could be more valuable. And your Spell Crit Multi is 44? Yeah, and also it's not applying to Force at all. Stacks, value 0. You don't need spell power. Spell power is useless. <laughs> Melee power scales the damage, so I have the spell power menu closed. Huh. That's gotta be a bug. Also, turn on the Fallen Bond form. I flagged the bonus as the wrong type. Okay, there you go. Oh yes, Empyrean Magic. Of course, you would have 10 stacks of Empyrean Magic. Duh, I knew that. So yes, you had 71 Fire and 64 Force. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're in Ocean Stance, double-checking. Oh, and of course, Wellspring of Power is active, too. Don't forget about that. There you go. But yeah, well, with Wellspring of Power active, you're not that bad. And then, uh, yeah. And then, you're sp not your Spell School DCs, sorry. <laughs> spell School DCs. <laughs> Tactical DCs. You have 74 stunning. 
Now, I know this is going to sound really crazy. But consider that if you change to Tiefling, you would get up to 81% fire crit with a bard 87% fire crit and uh what is this uh 74% force or 80% force if you swapped to tiefling and took your points out of falconry and put them into fey dark illusionist so your character will still have like 3500 hit points But the downside is you lose the 10 melee power from the form. So your melee power would drop down uh, to 278 as opposed to 288. I don't know how you... Oh, you got more melee power from the two, greater two-handed fighting. Yeah, I forgot about that. I know. Orbs on center? And yes, orbs on center you, yes. So you wouldn't be able to use the ocean stance. Now, this is an interesting idea here. And then, of course, you're just going all in on wisdom. Um, there's no um, spell crit fire, is there? No, there's no fire crit. There's only all the other things. Uh, there's no fire crit filigree. And I think that's all you can do with this character. This character does not work with Ardcore League, by the way. Now, I'm not saying that you should build this out. What I am saying is that it is demonstrably way higher DPS than it was before. I'm just saying. Because yes, all of this does scale with crit. And oh, I forgot, completely forgot about the Grandmaster of Flowers abilities. Like, duh. Because now you've got the Empyrean Magic. Um, and Grandmaster of Flowers. Oh, this stuff doesn't scale off a of crit, by the way. So this is all non-crit. Um, so it's totally useless. No, that guy had key abilities. That's totally different. So this is useless. Uh, this is a knockdown. Um, this is an instant kill, and this is useless. And then you, if you need key, you can just use inner focus, which I think... Oh, it's a cooldown of three minutes? <sighs> the hardest part is keeping your key up. However, that's what lily petal is for, which is uh, for pumping up key, pumping key. Yeah. Um, do you have any debuffs you can apply? No, no debuffs. Grandmaster. No, Dancing with Flames. There's no, like, you hit a guy and it applies an effect in here, unfortunately. But like I said, you do have, um, what is it, the passive key? I think just one passive key, two passive key. So your character has plus four passive key and five while stealth. No, it should, it should be five. Because you get two from, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. You have a lot. Um, so five passive key. It's not too bad, honestly. Oh, Ocean Stance. That's six. Yep, that's six key. You have six passive key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ocean Stance. I was going to like two from Henshin. Yeah, that's six. Okay. Damn. All right. Well, this was an interesting experiment. Uh, this is definitely turning into a YouTube video because I am, I am very happy with this idea. And I also want to inspire people to do other stupid things. This is great. Yeah, 100%. You have to understand that... This build isn't good, okay? It's god tier. It's god tier. All it requires, okay, all it requires is basically every past life and a bunch of really bad legendary green steel and an artifact nobody wants to go get from a raid. And a raid weapon. Oh, I forgot. This also has affirmation on it. Oh. Oh, can you just hear Key Shout? It's just crying. Dude, Key Shout is just crying. 
You have affirmation too? What is this? And the sunken slippers just for the quality wisdom of less. And look how tanky your guy is. 25% displacement, 10% incorporeality, helplessness damage reduction, minus 70% melee threat? Wait, you have... Oh yeah, the melee power. Melee power, melee power. Yeah, yeah, Melee power, melee power, melee power, um, melee power, melee power. I'm just saying, it's not bad. Yep, 43% dodge. That's true. Oh, that's because of the Maybar candy. That doesn't count. That's Maybar candy. What? Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, but wait, that's not the total stats. By the way, this is not including... So, obviously, this is um, Bungle on Matrim's part. <laughs> this guy, look at this guy. He doesn't include the stance for when you're standing in your cauldron and the stats that you get while you're standing in your cauldron. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe that you don't get the cauldron stats? Jeez. By the way, that is an insane joke. No one has used cauldron before. That was a joke. Please do not think that was that was not a joke. That was very much a joke. Exactly. But yeah. Where's the, what's cauldron do? Hold on, I don't even know. DDO cauldron of flame. Cauldron of flame. So, it is. You spend 30 key, you take, you deal damage. This damage deals with two times. It's actually three times the melee power. This is incorrect. Um, while wielding a quarter staff in... Oh, you have to wield a quarter staff. While wielding a quarter staff inside your cauldron of flame, 20 PRR, 10 MRR, and 15% dodge that ignores dodge cap. Again, you're out here saying... And then also, uh, inside Cauldron of Flame, plus one multi. You got plus one multi. Pretty good. Yeah. I'm just... And then, if you can find a way... Is there a way... Hold on, is there a way to get Key Shout in here? Can we get Key Shout in here? Can we get Key Shout in here? Okay. We're almost there. No, you just, it just dropped this DC, dude. It just drops the DC. You don't need to drop the whole thing. You drop the improved recovery. Pop over here, Shintao. Boom. Key shout. Because this is already 10, 10 um, amp. You get 10 amp back. So it's like half the amp. It's not bad. It's one for one. for one. No, no, no. You got to keep the flashbang. You got nothing else to do, dude. All your, all your stuff's going to be on cooldown. It didn't land on R1 Abishai. Oh, okay, drop, drop. You have the action boost as well. You can pick up an extra wisdom if you wanted. You could pick up um, helplessness damage. Can you make monsters helpless with this build? I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. You can get max dodge. You can get max dodge. That's true. I think what else adds to this character's stats? You just stand out of range and use bird attack. I mean, yeah. Grandmaster stuff doesn't cause helplessness. And flashbang does not cause helplessness. Flashbang, um, blinding opponents to reflex save and dazing them on a failed fortitude save? It doesn't work. It's a blind. It shouldn't it should not cause helplessness. Just pointing that out. You can still take the helplessness damage. Uh, no, you don't need that. Mm. They save... Yeah, exactly. It's the 170 save. So you take the extra max dodge, because that's extra max dodge. So now you're at 44. I don't see anything else. Like, you're so close to Iron Skin. I think you just drop into No Mercy for the extra 10%. And now, of course, your character has, um... 128 concentration. <laughs> Uh, do you have wisdom to hit and damage Falcon? Yeah, but the character can't attack. You're not allowed to melee. It's you have to you have to unbind your attack button. Yeah, you have to unbind it when you play this character so you don't accidentally attack people. 
It's a it's a big step, but you have to do it. Yep. 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 It's tough. It's tough. Um. So yeah, this is honestly not too bad. This is honestly not too bad. Look at that. Look at those changes we made. I am actually happy you brought this to my attention. We have a better character now. We have a better character now. And uh, it's like way stronger than it was before. Because like, just, just consider the idea that obviously the crit multi isn't coming through. But this is almost 70% 70, uh, 70 crit multi. It's 69. It's 69% 69 fire crit multi. If the material was applying, which it's not. Come on. And then it's also not applying to any of the other spells, which is kind of weird. It's all zero. Um, so yeah, you're at 69% fire crit multi. Oh, it applies as a percentage increase. Oh, it's increasing by 25%, so it's 9. Oh, then you're not at 69%. Oh, I'm really sorry. There's 15 minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. But this was... The build got stupider. The further you get, the stupider it gets. Now, fire is the main damage driver. The only way I can think of that you can improve this build is by getting more crit and its artifact. Is there? There's no artifact crit, is there? Where are the artifact augments? That augments. There we go. Uh, spell DCs. Ah, there's no crit. It is flame cleansed. Well, it's not. Well, well, ah, not just flame cleansed, my friend. You also have an, another option. These two rings, call them Bound Elemental Ring of Flames, is 10% fire. Blink lens. I know. But the problem is you'd have to drop stunning 23, which you can art you can augment back, and you have to drop melee power eight. Oh, dude! I forgot to add in the I forgot to add in the the the, the thing. Um what is it called? Brutal blows? No. Rule cut? Cunning impact? No. What's the um the quick blade? Dusk Raider? Yeah, we don't have a Dusk Raider in here. I don't have Dusk Raider in this. Because I'm an idiot. Of course. Of course. So we're going to get 20 more melee power to this bad boy. Fey Weave Robe? Oh, guess what? You're not part of a set. Dusk Raider. It's 20 extra melee power right there. What did I do wrong? One? Two? I clicked Emerald of Bitter Wounds? Come on, brain. 308 melee power, baby! There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Prowess swap for the plus 50. Oh, you, oh yes, of course, you prowess swap. Yes. You would have a spare swap with the prowess for the plus 80. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. You would have that. So that would be 388 melee power. And then you'd have to cast all your spells. This build is stupid. This build is really stupid. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I, hold on. Okay, Grun. How would you like to drop your IQ by 50 points? Check this out. It's gonna blow your mind. 
Um, perfect guardian angel? No, tactician? Garbage. Uh, perfect two-handed fighting. You know what's way better? Arcane warrior baby. 20 stacks. 20 stacks casting spells. They count as spells. 20 melee power. Oh, I can't... Arc oh, no! Oh, I can't slide arcane warrior. No, the 20 melee power. Oh, we're missing on 20 melee power. But if you could, you could actually do that too. Because it, like, it actually works, you know? Yeah. So, in your cauldron? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. With Guardian Proct. How much is that? Because you have 100 and 114 wisdom? Yeah. 450 PRR. And fixed key shout. And don't forget that you have 128 concentration. 128 on concentration. It's not bad. Key caster tank. Yep. Hey, you don't have any MRR, but it's okay. No one else does either. <laughs> oh, what are the saves? Uh-oh. Um, 87, 66, and 101. And no fail fortitude or will. Uh, There's no resistance augments in here, though. Do we have a slot? Yo, there's a slot here. So you can still grab uh, Sapphire of Resistance. 11. Oh, and good luck. Do we have a slot? Do we have a slot? There's a slot here. Um, good luck is mm, two, I think. What? Is it two or one? Oh, it's Topaz. Oh, crap. Mm, okay. Um, oh, no. Okay. The Dust Raider has to be swapped because this has to be a Sapphire of good luck, right? And then the boots get the Dusk Raider. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Move the diamond. Yes. Yes, of course. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. And of course, just figuring out the buffs. Uh, your character, you have Marshal Him. Uh, you have Greater Heroism already clicked. So you're good. You have all of these clicked already, so you're all set. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's not even with prayer. It's honestly surprising. So now if you want, this is where you have to think about it. Currently you're at 114 wisdom and tactical DCs of 70 to 1 stunning. Now you could drop the stunning DC down to an, a 12 from an augment for, instead of a 23 from your item. And you could, actually it's higher than that. I think it's 14 or something. Um, and you would also drop the 8 melee power from the Ring of Prowess. But you would get 10% more fire crit. And you would also lose incorporeality. And you would also lose the 21 dexterity that is in there. Yeah. Because you could get the 10% extra crit. Because remember, the cauldron does more damage... Um, the longer people stand in the cauldron. So, cauldron is what? Uh, 2d6 every 2 seconds, plus 2d6 every 2 seconds you remain in the cauldron for 30 seconds. I'm the tojo, non-crit? Well, yeah, but this is now all crit. I don't know, I think the cauldron does crit. Also, remember that before you cauldron, um, obviously you would be... Uh, you, so you've, you've gained like 30 melee power from where you were before. Um, but also remember that before you cauldron, obviously you would be with the material set. And also on your stance, you would snapshot it with Wellspring. Yeah. So you would prowess, snapshot, Wellspring, and then you would cauldron, bringing your crit multi... If this was functioning, fire crit over 100 with a 71% crit chance.
Anyway, your build has been reviewed and uh, has been seen to be hilarious. Man, though, eight can you, you can fit you can squeeze in eighteen percent more fire crit in exchange for eighteen melee power. Eighteen fire crit for eighteen melee power and incorporeality. It's like oh, eighteen fire crit. Oh, and you have to drop four wisdom. But then you'd have eighty nine percent fire crit. 89%, 89%. Yeah, it drops tactics as well. Drops a bunch. Oh, yeah, right. You have healing hands with 114 wisdom. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the healing hands. Um, I'm trying to think of how you can get more concentration into your build, just for a joke. Um, and I think you could, because basically you would have to take the um thing. What's this? Is this con 28? If I go con skills, hold on. Is this 14? It's only 14 because it's quality skills. No, it's actually lower. Never mind. Well, because you could get you could get slightly higher. You lose hit points. You could trade hit points though. If we're working on these types of builds and more straightforward ones. Um, I like both because they're fun. Like this build is really fun to examine because it's it's not really useful to anyone, but it's a fun experiment. And there may be somewhere. Like I said, I'm posting this on YouTube. There's going to be somewhere, someone that will watch this video and go, wait a minute. I can do that. I have the Sharn, or I have the green steel mats. I have this. Hold on. And someone's going to make this build. It's going to be horrific. I can't wait. Run at the very least will attempt it. But then you can do this. You can do this. God, what an idea. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I find DDO is extremely exciting. Is because it allows you to come up with cool ideas like this and create something that you would never expect. Now, important note, there's a couple other things. Uh, number one, if you just decided to actually hit the monsters in between um, using this character build, so important note, you drop Orchid Blossom and uh, Lily Petal Flowers, you pick up Dance of Flowers, you pick up all this stuff, you grab more wisdom, probably dancing flame. Uh, you still keep drifting lotus, but you get rid of these two. Um, and yeah, you just grab these other ones and you keep this. Uh, your character would actually hit pretty hard too. Because of all of the melee power and the strike through. Wait, why do you need lily petal? Oh, lily petal? Yeah, you need Lily Petal if you're not hitting monsters. If you're hitting monsters, you don't need Lily Petal. But, yeah, like I said, if you actually decide to hit monsters, this build is funny and also works, like, not the best, but you'll never pull threat with minus 70%. You're still going to hit reasonably hard, although you don't have a lot of double strike. It adds a little bit of damage. I don't know. You could You could possibly make this build work. Hell, I just want to see you walk into a pack of monsters... And, and crack out the classic incinerating wave and just go and watch everything just kind of melt before you. How much damage is that possibly? The upper limit on incinerating wave cannot be that high. That has to be a, a really low damage cap. Um, a D6 fire and force plus one fire and force damage per monk level every two seconds to all opponents near it. Oh, that is not a good number. Okay, okay, wait, 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 hold on. Because it's a d6 plus one per monk level. So 5d6 is 5 to 30. So let's just take the upper bound is 30 damage. Plus 20 for monk is 50 fire damage. Times three melee power. And you're at, let's just round it to 400 for easy math, which counts as like 1200 melee power, which is 13 times. So 13 times 50 is 650 non-crit. Oh, dude. And then you critically strike with crit, the crit multi, and you have plus over 100% crit multi. 
So at the absolute upper bound, you're dealing most cl as close as you can to like 2,000 fire damage on a big crit. Plus the force damage. God, those abilities are so bad. Oh, those abilities are so bad. Dude, I'm just like, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm like, oh, there's got to be a way to make this work. There's got to be a way to make this work. That's assuming best outcomes. It's 30. It's like 3,600 damage. Yeah. With the fire and the force combined. Assuming monsters don't resist fire. Also, it does less damage than Key Bolt, which is a single target, which should do more damage, I believe. Yeah, because Key Bolt is a D6 fire and a D4 force per monk level, which is about the same, actually. It's about the same. But this does hit a whole crowd, and it only has um, it only has a, a nine-second cooldown.